Hi everyone, so if you've never seen a video from me before, I am a full-time reseller. My mom and I run this business below threads together. We primarily sell on eBay, but also cross post a good portion of our listings to Poshmark. So that is what this video is going to be about as our Poshmark sales for the month of January. All we do for Poshmark is just cross post. We try and cross post about five items a day and then we share a closet probably twice a day on average. So we really don't put a lot of time into Posh. So for the amount of time that we do, I'm pretty satisfied with our sales. So from January 1st through January 31st, our total gross sales were $1,202. Obviously Poshmark takes about 20% of that. So after that is taken out, we made right under $1,000, like 950-ish, I believe. In total, we sold 44 different items. I think there were three bundles total. For those 44 items, it worked out to an average sale price of 2727 and that's before fees. So that's pretty good in my opinion. I'm definitely happy with that. There's definitely room for us to grow Poshmark, but with us putting our main efforts into eBay at the moment, I am more than happy with our Posh numbers. So basically, I'm just going to scroll through all of our sales from January and go through and tell you like a little bit about the item, how long we've had it, how much we paid, if we'd buy it again, and so on. So our first sale for this month happened to be this Zach and Rachel plaid button-up shirt, sold for $25. Remember, Poshmark takes a 20% fee. I don't believe any of these items were offers to likers. I think all of them were just either full price sales or we took an offer. So this top, I wanna to say we paid around $4 for. I believe it was new with tags. Let me see. Yes, it was new with tags. And it sold decently fast a couple months. So I definitely would pick that up again. Next was this bundle. It included an Athleta pair of skinny pants and also a Calvin Klein trench coat. Together for both the items, I'd say we paid around eight to $10 for. And our earnings for this were 60 and it sold for $75. Definitely pick up both of those. Again, Athleta skinny pants always move pretty quick. And that Calvin Klein trench coat, I wanna say it got out of the bins, but it was probably three, four or $5 cause it was so heavy. Next was a pair of J brand jeans. They were a bootcut jean, which they took a while to sell. I have no idea how much we paid for these, but they only sold for 17. So we only made about 14 on them. So I'm sure we paid too much and they sat for a while. I would not pick up J Brand Bootcut anymore. Very selective with which J Brand I pick up now. Next sale was this pair of Rag and Bone jeans. I love picking up Rag and Bone. Actually, we did not pick these up. We got them for a decent price from online we sourced them. We paid around $12, they sold for 50 and we made 40. So that's a decent profit for them being shipped to us. And of course, Rag and Bone, they sold within like a week or so. Next is this MM LaFleur shirt. Picked this up at Goodwill. It sold really quick for 45. Our earnings are 36. MM LaFleur is a great brand. I would definitely recommend picking it up. Moves quick, gets a lot of interest. Definitely a good brand to find. Next are just some American Eagle pants. I'm sure I got these at the bins. They sold for 15, not a ton, but for bins fine. Pick them up again. American Eagle always does well in skinnies at least. Then we have this bundle, it included three items. It was a Madewell pair of shorts. We've actually had those shorts for about six months. Then there was a Madewell t-shirt. We've had that t-shirt for a couple months. And then a pair of Spanx black leggings with some really cool paneling details. Individually, these items were priced at, I believe, $113. The bundle price we sold it for was $85 and we earned $68 from that. I would probably pick all these items up again, even though the Madewell shorts sat for a while. Uh, the Spanx leggings were listed only a couple days. Next is a pair of American Eagle black high-rise skinny jegging jeans, 18 short. Picked these up at Goodwill for 40% off, so I paid about $4 for them. They sold really quick because they're a high-rise, plus-size American Eagle. Um, they sold for $25, so our earnings were $20. They sold really quick. I would definitely pick those up again. I love picking up American Eagle jeans. Next was a pair of Rerock for Express bootcut jeans. Um, don't remember how much we paid, probably from the bins, and I'm pretty sure they sat for a little while. Um, I don't know if I picked them up again or not, but I mean, we made a decent amount. We made $20.80, so. Next sale was a pair of 89th and Madison, size 22, black ankle pants. Picked these up at the bins. I actually had them quite a while, but I would definitely pick them up again. They sold for 25, so earnings of $20 on a bins find are not that bad. So that sale was on January 10th, so we're one third through the month. 
Next was this knitted and knotted anthropology dress. I picked this up at the bins. It was listed less than a month. Sold for $30, so I definitely picked that up again. This jacket was an Adidas track jacket. We actually bought these from the Adidas outlet. Paid $19. Some of them sold and we made a decent amount, but we have a couple left that aren't moving for some reason. So we sold it for $35 and our earnings were $28. So we only made like $9. I mean, we didn't lose money, but I... I don't know. I wouldn't pick up Adidas. I, I would be much more selective about sourcing from the Adidas outlet next time. But I'm really surprised they didn't move quicker. I honestly thought they'd move pretty quick. Next is a White House Black Market cold shoulder top. It was from the bins. I believe it was new with tags. It sat for a while, um, but it eventually sold for $17, $13.60. At the bins, I'd probably pick it up again. Next were these pair of Lulu's pants. Lulu's is just a little like cheaper brand, but it's pretty sought after. We had so much interest in these pants. They had, as you can see, 54 likes. So they got a ton of interest. Um, they were really cool pants. We picked them up at the bins in Pensacola. They took forever to sell for some reason, probably almost six-ish months, which is crazy because they were super cool and had so much interest, but we eventually sold them for 20 bucks, so I would definitely pick them up again. They brought a lot of traffic to our store, I'm sure. Next, oh my gosh, this dress, the death of me. It was a Nine West new tags dress. I think the tags were $99. We've had this for at least a year. Could not move it to save our lives. We took an offer of 12 bucks. I'd pick it up again though, that's the worst part. I knew with Hags and I was dressed at the bins, I'd pick it up, but probably shouldn't obviously because it took forever to sell. I don't know if it was just the terrible pictures, but oof, I'm so glad that dress is gone. Next is a pair of Lululemon Groove Pants. These are my favorite style because obviously it doesn't do as well uh, as like skinny ones, but I think we paid two or three bucks for them. Our earnings are 24, they sold within a month, so I'd pick them up again. This was a pair of Vince men's pants. These sold within a couple of days, picked them up at Goodwill for about $4. Sold for $32 and our earnings were $25.60, so I'm happy with that. I definitely pick them up again. Vince and men's does really well. Next was a bundle. It was both two size 16 dresses. One was a Tory dress and one was a Crown and Ivy. Individually, the dresses would have been $60, but the, for the bundle, we did $45, which left us with 36 for our earnings. I believe those were both from the bins, so I'm happy with that. Neither one sat for too terribly long. Next is a pair of Seven for All Mankind powder, the skinny jeans. I was super excited to find these. I knew they would do well. Um, I think I got them at Goodwill. Sold for 50 and I paid probably five for them. They sold really quick and I'm pretty sure that was a full price sale. This next one is a new tags Lucky Brand top. It was a size extra large. I picked it up at Goodwill for about four or five bucks. Sold for $30, so our earnings were $24. It moved pretty quick, I'd say within a month or two, so I would definitely pick that up again. This next one was an Urban Outfitters top. I don't pick up all their tops anymore um, because they just kind of sit, but this one I knew it would do well. It was giving me a lot of Free People vibes. As you can see, it's a thermal top, so I picked it up with the bins. It sold probably within a week or two for $19, so left us with around $15 for earnings, which I'm happy with. Next were these pair of Old Navy distressed boyfriend skinny jeans. I'm sure we picked them up at the bins. We've had them for a while. Um, I don't know if I'd pick these up again. We only made $10.05, so it definitely wasn't that great of a buy, but that's gonna happen. There's some in here. This next pair was a pair of Free People jeans. We picked these up at the Free People store for $20. We had a gift card that we found in a bag, so they were essentially free to us. Um, we sold them for 48 and made 38 profit. So even if we had paid $20 out of pocket, that's not a terrible flip. We about doubled our money. Our earnings were 38, 40. These did sit for probably around six -ish month, six-ish months. So definitely a little longer, probably because they were such a small size, but eventually they sold. This is a soft surroundings tunic. I picked this up at Goodwill. Would not have guessed this would have sold on Posh, but it did. It was a 2X, it was a really cool tunic. We probably paid four-ish for it, and it sold for 30, which left us with 24. It was not listed that long, less than a month for sure. Now we are on the 20th of January, so two thirds of the way done. This is a pair of men's AG jeans. These actually did sit for a couple months. Um, I picked them up at Goodwill for around five. They sold for 35, which left us with 28. 
I would definitely pick them up again, even though they sat. I just love picking up AG. This next item that sold is Rain Spooner Swim Chunks. This brand, I feel like, is overhyped by, like, Instagram and all. Um, whenever I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, that's probably 30 to 40 bucks. Mm. 15 and $12 earnings, and we probably paid four for them, so we only made about $8. I'm just happy they sold. I would not pick them up again. The shirts, what is my hair doing? The shirts, I might give another try because I think those do better, but swim trunks, steer clear. This next top is just a Babu. I might be saying that wrong. I know it's sold at like Nordstrom Rack and all, I think. Um, pick it up at the bins because it was a larger size. I had it for a month or two, maybe three or four. <laughs> Don't remember, honestly. Uh, it was very lightweight. Our earnings were 12 and it sold for 15 so probably we made at least $10 profit. It was very lightweight. This next top was also from the bins. It was very lightweight. It sold for 12 Our earnings were $9.05. Uh, not the best, but this was one of the items we bought to just do a quick flip for not a lot of money. So we probably made about $8 profit, but we really didn't put in a lot of work because we didn't list this one to eBay. We just snapped a couple pics and uploaded it to Posh. So it was a really quick, easy one to deal with. I'd pick it up again because it sold within a week. This Anthropology Mave skirt, I found at the bins, it was quite a few months ago, four to six, I would say. So it sat for a while. I feel like we have a bunch of items that sit for longer, but I feel like we... We usually try and get the most money we can out of our items. We don't just like to... Like, this sold for 35 If we had sent out a $20 offer, we'd still be making a decent amount of money. However, I feel like we personally would rather just hold on to his stuff for a little bit longer to get the most money out of it. So our earnings for this were $28, so we easily cleared $25 in profit since it was from the bins. Definitely would pick it up again. The next item, womp, womp, womp. We had to cancel this order. Uh, it was a pair of Levi's men's jeans, size 44. We had these for a while. I guess they sold a while ago because we couldn't find them in our inventory and they weren't on eBay either. Whenever something sells on eBay, we delete it off Posh, and if it sells on Posh, we delete it off eBay. At least we tried to. I guess we missed this item and it snuck through the cracks and we sold it on Posh and had to cancel it. So that sucks because it would have been a nice sale too, but it happens to everyone, I guess. Next up is this Lucky Brand t-shirt. It was new with tags. I had it a month or two. Uh, sold for 24 and our earnings were 19.20. I think paid two or three bucks from a thrift store. This was a newer label J. Crew dress. I, we only had it for about a month or two. Uh, sold for 35 and our earnings were 28 so that was a great flip. Picked up at Goodwill. This item was another one we picked up at the bins just for a quick flip. We didn't post it on eBay or anything. We only made 805 but I mean, we didn't do much work, so it's whatever. I mean, these little couple dollar items, they add up. This was a pair of Lululemon bootcut Astro Pants. Um, pick these up at Goodwill. They sold really quick, actually, like overnight, I believe, uh, for $34. So our earnings are $27.20, and we paid 4 or $5 for them. Definitely pick those up again. Lululemon's so weird. I would have figured these would have sat for a little while because they were boot cut, and usually boot cut sits for a little longer than like skinny ones, but they sold overnight. These I was not really expecting to sell on Posh. We had these for probably two or three months, but only cross posted them to Posh probably a week before they sold. Uh, it was some Max Mara pants. They were wool trousers. They sold for 50 bucks. We picked them up at Goodwill. So we paid five and our earnings were 40. That's 35 profit. I'll take that. Next was this 41 Hawthorne top. I don't remember where I got it. Actually, you know what? I do remember where I got it. I think I got it at Salvation Army for like a dollar or two. And we did not have it that long if I remember correctly. I wanna say less than a month. Sold for 18 and we made 14 bucks on it. I would probably pick it up again for a buck or two. Next, oh my gosh, we had these shorts for easily six plus months. They were Lululemon Speed Shorts. I guess we might have just had them priced too high. We had them priced at 45 And so when we got an offer of 35 I was like, we're taking this. We've had them for so long. Um, we made 20 bucks. We paid 4 bucks from Goodwill. I'm happy with that. I wish they sold quicker. Maybe we shouldn't be so greedy. Hashtag don't be a greedy hoe. Four more sales for this month, and that is it. This one was an Adidas men's pullover. It was from the bins. It was Miami Hurricanes. Usually any 
like team logo stuff and Adidas or Nike or Under Armour does well. This one did well. I think it was only, you know, I don't know how long it was cross posted to Poshore. We had it on eBay for a month or two, but we could have had it on Posh for less. So far 20, so our earnings were 16. Decent flip for the bins. Next is this Donna Morgan dress. I have no idea where we picked this up or how long we've had it. I know we've had it for months actually. We've probably had it for at least, probably eight to 10 plus months. Sold it for $9. Earnings were 605. I would not pick it up again. I don't know why we picked it up. I don't know what this brand is. I'm glad it's gone. This sale is an umji, I think is how you say it, um, floral embroidered top. I picked this up at the bins. We had it for less than a month. It sold for 15, so our earnings were 12. I pick it up again. The only thing is we probably paid two to three dollars for that because it was pretty heavy. It was just a heavy knit top. And then finally, our last sale for the I was about to say the year. Last sale for the month of January. I actually accepted this offer last night. It was on this Sailor was the brand. I'll insert a picture of the tag right here. And then here is a picture of the actual dress. I picked this up at the bins. The only reason that I thought to look it up or whatever it was because the tag was tacked on, which is usually an indication that it's a decent brand. Never had I heard of this brand. Never had I ever <laughs> heard of this brand. Um, but I think it was sold at like Neiman Marcus or something like that. Some expensive store whenever I looked it up. We had it for a couple months. I think we listed it high. Let's see, we have retail value as 198. We had it listed at 60, which I think was the higher side of the comps. So we had an offer of $40 and I was like, I'm gonna take that because that's a decent flip. It weighed nothing. We probably paid a dollar for it at the bin. So a dollar into 40, that's a deal. That is all of our Poshmark sales for the month of January. If you like this video and would like me to do like each month our sales on Poshmark, like one for January, February, March, so on and so forth, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I definitely think we can do it. On eBay, the video would be an hour or too long because we sell so much more over there, but with 44 sales a month on average, I mean, that's what we had this month, I think it's pretty doable in one video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. Also, in case you want to check out our Poshmark closet or eBay, they'll both be linked in the down bar as always. But yeah, that is basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.